Hey everybody, welcome back to the Barndo Channel. This is Charlie Downs with 1845 Barn Dominiums. On this week's episode, we're outside of Brownsboro, Texas to bring you the final completed tour of the Heartland Barn Dominium outside of Brownsboro. This is a three bedroom, two bath Laredo layout, almost 2,100 square foot in this layout and we do have an attached two car garage that's included with the floor plan. If you look at the outside of the building, we've got polar white as our exterior wall color. We have black as our roof color. You'll also see that we have black around our windows and doors for our trim colors and then our windows windows themselves are white uh, vinyl on the exterior and white on the interior as well. We've got a beautiful farmhouse look inside. When we get in here, you're going to see some beautiful stained cabinetry, vinyl plank flooring, tile showers that are unbelievable with inlay and pebble floor. It's just a beautiful layout. Everything came together really, really beautiful with the Heartland Barn Dominium. So we're going to head inside and give you a final look. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and do that now. We would love to have questions and comments in the comment area below. Don't forget, ring that bell so that you can get notifications each and every time we post content here on the Barndo channel. We do have our social media outlets, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. You can check us out on those. And of course, our website, 1845barndominiums.com. If you or anybody else you know is interested in making your dream home become a reality, just like the Heartland Barn Dominium here, we would love to talk to you about how to get that process started, whether it's floor plans, a turnkey build, a shell build, or having a kit shipped to your location around the United States. You can actually go to our website and schedule an appointment with us now. If you go to our Get Started page and click on Schedule, an appointment you can set up a time to visit with us in person over the phone with a zoom call or whatever makes uh, everything easier and comfortable for you so we're going to head inside now and give you the final completed look at the heartland barnuminium outside of brownsboro texas So let's head inside and take a look at this beautiful Laredo layout. So as we walk in the front door, you can see we've got big open living area in the center. I'm standing at the front door and we've got our living room here and our kitchen in the back. You can see we've got an Austin stone there on our fireplace. The beautiful mantle that the homeowner picked out. I believe they got that at uh, Canton Trade Days, I believe. Got that handcrafted, opted to go sheetrock all the way up to the ceiling and then you'll be able to see on the outside view that we've got sheet metal to match the roof on the outside. We've got vinyl plank floors throughout the house and we've gone with some grays and browns there and we've got our wall color. You can see we've got gray with white trim. We've got one by fours and one by sixes for our trim. So I'm going to take you back to the kitchen area and give you a walk through there. But to give you a kind of an idea of the layout of the floor plan, we've got master bedroom here. We do have a small office here off the kitchen area. And then we've got a walk-in pantry in the back corner back there. French doors that lead us out to the patio. We do have our laundry room. You can see the entrance there, our doorway there. And then just like all Laredo layouts on the other side over here, we've got two bedrooms and then a bath there in the center that we'll take you through and show you here in just a few minutes. So if we take you through the kitchen, we've got stained cabinetry here, granite countertops. We've got a lot of countertop space. We've got like a little uh, breakfast bar, coffee bar area here to the side. We could put shelves or whatever we want, hang anything we want above there. We've got a large island in the center here. We do have cabinetry on both sides. And you can see that all of our cabinetry will be stained. Now on this wall here, we've got our subway tile backsplash. Countertop there with our refrigerator. We've got cabinets uppers and lowers. So we've got refrigerator freezer there, more counter space here. Then we've got our uh, wall oven and microwave there. And then if I come around here, you can see we've got our subway tile here with our cooktop. So we had wall oven here beside me. Now we've got our cooktop here with our vent hood that matches all of our stained cabinetry. Above, we've got a stainless steel undermount sink. And I love the countertop flowing out onto the back patio. So you can see instead of having a ledge here, we've made everything countertop height 
so that we can slide things in and out of that window there when we're hosting out on the patio. So we do have an operable window there above the sink. Got our dishwasher to the right of the sink here. And of course our French door access to the back patio. And just off the kitchen, we've got a large walk-in pantry. You can see tons of shelving in here. So we've got tons of dry storage in here available. Trim Carpenters did a great job with those finishes. And I believe we're gonna have a deep freeze refrigerator. We've got electrical plugs there. So we've got access there to be able to put deep freeze refrigerator, anything that we want inside that walk-in pantry. And we do have our coffee bar here. Again, everything matching the rest of the kitchen. Electrical access there. And then we've got a small office space here, again, just off the kitchen. You can see we've just got a small space here, big enough to put a desk. I believe we do have, if we step inside here, we've got a little bit of storage in here. We've got some cubbies built there for storage inside our office area. So let me take you over and show you. I'm gonna give you a look from the kitchen island and I'm gonna show you the beam that we've got here. Our beam has been stained to match the rest of the cabinetry. And of course, we've got can lighting throughout the house. And you can see a good look at our front door. I wanna show you these blinds or shutters. I call them shutters, but they're really blinds that we've got here. These are really cool. So you can fold these up here so you can see the bottom is closed. The top is open. But then if we want to, we can also open these up and get full sunlight. And we do have operable windows there. We've got white exterior, white interior vinyl windows for this layout. I just thought those were a really cool feature that I would show you. And to give you an idea of the trim that we've done, we've got mitered edges, one by fours around the doors and windows and all of those are with mitered edges. So we try to show those each time we come in and give you an idea of what the homeowner chose. We've got shaker style doors. As we come into the master suite, we've got one single window here again with those blinds that we showed you just a second ago. Lots of electrical set up in here. And then if we head into the master bath, you can see our closet area in the back just to give you a view from the bedroom. We've got our closet area there in the back. We do have a makeup vanity here and you can see our stained cabinetry. And that drawer there is pulled out. We've got some electrical that they're getting set up in there for us and finishing that up before they get moved in today. We've got some linen storage here beside the shower. We do have a tile shower, pebble floor. And you can see the subway tile, the smaller tile inlays there. And we've got shower niche there for storage. So we've got rain head, shower head in there, standard shower head, uh, and a body sprayer in that shower area. I'm not sure if they're gonna do a shower curtain there or if they're gonna come back and put glass doors there. I'm not sure what they're gonna, how they're gonna finish that up. We've got single sink vanity here in the master, countertops that match our kitchen, full size mirror there, stained cabinetry. I'm gonna spin around here and give you another look at the makeup vanity that we've got to the side there. We'll be able to pull a chair up under there if we want to sit there and be able to apply makeup. And then we've got our master closet. And we've told you before, we usually come in in these closets and kind of customize those as to what the homeowner needs. So you can see we've got uh, cubbies built in all the way around the closet here. Lots of upper and lower hanging area. We've got some more cubbies there built in. So plenty of shelving, plenty of storage in the master closet. And then if we go back, I'm going to take you across the layout now. We'll come back out of the master bedroom and I'm going to take you. Here's your view from your master. So when you come out of the master bedroom, this is your view of the living and kitchen area. Just kind of give you a full view there. 
our big open living space in the center of the home. And if we come across, I'm gonna take you over here to bedroom two. There is a little bit of furniture in here. They're getting ready to move in today. I believe homeowner's birthday. Today, we're getting them moved in on their birthday today. So this is bedroom two. And then we've got pocket door here that leads us into just a standard, I believe this is about a five by three closet, but we've got, I believe our closets over here are matching. We've got upper and lower hanging and cubbies there for storage with pocket door access. And then I'm gonna take you over to bedroom three, which is essentially identical to bedroom two. We've got single window in both of these rooms. And if I pan around here, you can see same flooring or all the finishes are the same here. We've got a pocket door access into this closet, which is identical to closet number two. So bedrooms two and three are identical, same closet space, same floor space. And then if I take you in here, we've got bathroom number two. So this is a full bath. We've got lots of space in here. So we've got a single sink vanity. I wanna show you that right here. Single sink vanity there. Same countertops, same stained cabinets. We do have a shower tub combo. So we do have a tub here with a tile surround. Same pattern as we had over in the master. So we've got those smaller tiles there as our inlay and in our shower niche there. But we do have a good size. I believe that's a five by three, maybe a little bit bigger uh, tub shower combo, excuse me. And then we had some space left over here, so we decided to go ahead and add some cabinetry here for storage. So we can put towels, washcloths, linens if we need to in this bathroom here. Now, I don't know how well you can see, but this may give us a good opportunity to show you. We've got bull-nosed corners on our sheetrock. You can see it down here on the trim. You can see the bull-nosed corners. They're not at a 90 degree angle. And we've got that throughout the house. So again, a little over 2,100 square foot, not much, just a little over 2,100. Three bedrooms, two full baths. We do have an office in this layout. We've got a walk-in pantry. I'm gonna take you to the laundry room here. You're gonna see more of our stained cabinetry over here. So we've already got washer and dryer in. We've got room for storage here. We've got room to put a deep freeze or anything that we want here in this space. And then before we go out into the garage area, we've got our cubby. So as we come in and park, we can walk in here. We've got our cubby storage and then into the kitchen and the rest of the layout. So we do have included with this Laredo layout, we do have a two car garage. I'm gonna turn the lights on here. Let me see if I can get these real quick. There we go. That lights things up quite a bit. So we went with three inch vinyl insulation. Gives it a nice clean look. We've got eight by 10 overhead doors with windows at the top. Our panels, glass panels in there. We do have uh, some storage and mechanical here in the garage. And you can see our connecting wall or dividing wall between the house and the garage we have painted and we've sheetrocked that. So we've got some wood framing there. We've got sheetrock there and everything ties into the house. And then we have access here to go out to the back. And I'm gonna take you back in the house here and take you out to the back patio to wrap things up. So as we come back in, we're coming in from the garage, we are able to come into the kitchen area and straight over to the pantry, store groceries and things like that. And then I'm gonna take you out here and show you the back patio. So we did a gabled back patio here with a crow's foot. So good space here. We actually also added sidewalk access over we showed you that door from the inside. So if you look here from the outside, you can see our window there for the laundry room. We did put an awning over that door so they have access to come from the garage on the concrete over to the patio area. We've got our HVAC unit over there. We mounted some single eye bolts there. 
for them to be able to hang their bed swing here. So just a beautiful layout. Got fencing already installed. We've got some ryegrass coming up. We've got all of our finished grade done. Everything's cleaned up really nice and they're ready to move in today. So I'm gonna take you back through the main layout one more time and we're gonna wrap up our tour for today here in Brownsboro, Texas. So again, coming in from the back patio, big vaulted ceiling in the living and kitchen area in the center. That is the signature of a Laredo layout. And then we head here to the front door. We've got the Texas Star heading out onto the front patio. And so that's gonna wrap up our tour for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the look at the Laredo layout here in Brownsboro, Texas. All right, everybody, that's gonna wrap up our tour of the Heartland Barn Dominium outside of Brownsboro, Texas. Hope you enjoyed the tour today. This turned out to be a really beautiful build. Uh, we're super proud of how everything turned out inside and out on this barn dough. Again, we've got polar white exterior walls with black roof, black trim around our windows and doors and corners. It's a three bedroom, two full bath layout, just under 2,100 square foot, and we do have a two car garage attached to the layout. We've got full size front porch, and then a back patio with access to the garage as well. Just everything came together really beautiful on this build. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and do that now. We would love to have questions and comments in the comment area below. And don't forget our social media outlets, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And of course our website, 1845barnuminiums.com. If you or anybody you know is interested in getting the process started of making their dream home a reality, 1845 Barnuminiums would love to help with that dream. Whether it's floor plans, turnkey build like the Heartland here, a shell build or a kit purchase or a kit package delivered to your property. We would love to talk to you about how to get the process started with 1845 Barn Dominiums. You can also set up appointments online. If you go to our Get Started page and click on Schedule an Appointment, you can set up a time to visit with us in person with a phone call or a Zoom meeting or Google Teams or whatever uh, makes it simpler and easier for you to get in touch with us and have a conversation with us about how to make your dream home a reality with 1845 Barn Dominiums. That's going to wrap up this week's episode. Thanks for joining us. See you next time on the Barndo Channel.